I'm Chris Santa Croce, and we're here at Superfly, importer for Advance, Gin Gliders, and Nova. I'm really happy to be here today talking about the Yeti Convertible 2 harness. Um, it's a brand new harness uh, available on our web store at 650. Quite an amazing value for a uh, harness with this many features. Before we get too far, it's worth mentioning uh, this harness is a hike and fly oriented, lightweight, compact, reversible harness with airbag and under the seat reserve container. That makes you wonder who exactly is this for? And the answer is anybody who wants to travel with a minimalist kit, uh, people who want to carry on their uh, paragliding kit and put it in the overhead. Uh, this is going to be great for people who are counting the grams. This thing comes in at 1.4 kilograms as it is here right now. And so that's going to be a great option for people who are going for ultra lightweight that still want the peace of mind that comes from having an airbag and a reserve. So one of the things that I love about this harness, I opened it up and I realized that Gin Gliders has gone really over the top in their attention to detail. And so when I think about what I want in a hike and fly reversible uh, backpack harness combination, you know, the list is long, but when we're in the backpack mode, I want it to carry well. Number one, I want it to carry well. And this harness totally works in that regard. Nice uh, padding, uh, super nice waist belt, chest belt, etc. So. Um, you could tell it's not going to be the type of backpack that's going to uh, beat you in the, in the back, which is really the downside of many of them. Um, it uh, can take a big glider. This is a Bolero 5 medium, and it's in there with no trouble, no stress on the zipper, and then there are a lot of ways to compress it. I haven't really done that on this particular one yet, but um, if I wanted to put my skis on it, uh, my ski poles, uh, if I wanted to put an ice axe, if I was that kind of guy, it's all there. Piece of cake. So um, next thing would be storage. Uh, if you've ever gone for a hike and fly that you know you're wondering what it is you're gonna do with your phone. Where, where are you gonna put your water? Where are you gonna put your snacks? And nobody wants to be the guy who has to take off the backpack and stop just to get a drink or take off the backpack and stop to get a snack. So all of these are accessible while you're hiking and I love that. Great job, gin gliders. Gym Gliders Yeti Convertible 2. Obviously, you get to the top of the hike, it's time to switch into flying mode. Sometimes the conditions are changing, you want that to happen fast, if you're anything like me. And uh, so here we go. All right, let's have a look at the Yeti Convertible 2 when it's in harness mode. And one of the things that I really noticed about this harness is that it's got a cinch strap on the top, and I've never seen that before. I guess it makes sense, but it just seems really nice. It feels like if you had uh, anything else that you wanted to stow back there, whether it be a jacket, concertina bag, extra stuff bag, any stuff that you might just take mountaineering, a rope, you name it. Um, by the time you buckle that up, and cinch up, you're good to go. There are going to be some starry-eyed beginners who are going to look at this and think about their long-term flying goals, and they're going to say, I want that for my first harness. And I want to just mention that this isn't your best option if you're a beginner. Uh, you're going to be better served by getting a full feature harness, normal weight material. That way, if you get uh, roughed up a little bit, drug here and there, it's not going to compromise your lightweight kit. And then uh, most importantly, um, the airbag and or foam protection that you're going to get from a normal weight harness is going to be uh, far better for you in the event that you have something unlucky happen, something unfortunate. Most beginners will tell you that they've had at least one case where the back protection paid off. And so um, I, I want to say that this is an excellent back protector, um, certified EN651, the whole harness, and um, amazing in its own right. But it won't quite offer you the same protection that a full feature harness will. So beginners, let this be your second harness. Buy yourself a normal full feature harness. Speed flyers, this one's looking good to you. I say use it. Um, not all speed flyers will fly with an airbag or a reserve, but I gotta tell you, it's a great bet. It's a smart move. Um, airbag can come in handy if you get your landing just wrong or blow a takeoff. Um, not many mini wing pilots no great reasons why they might need the reserve, but I just want to list blow back. We're always flying in wind. You're going to feel pretty lonely with no reserve if you blow back. Uh, Midair. Many wing pilots are always flying with their buddies. 
and they're always high-fiving and yahooing and going for a great video, if you get tangled up with your buddy, you're going to feel really naked without a reserve. Those are some reasons why I really like the Yeti Convertible too. Um, great option for those folks. And when you do want to go and get on the chairlift with the harness on, or if you do want to do uh, some laps in a car where you can't justify sitting on your reserve or your airbag, you can just zip it off. You zip off the reserve container, uh, airbag combination, and then you'll have the uh, Yeti Convertible harness on its own. That's your best bet. All right, let's check out the features of the Yeti Convertible too. I guess this is a great time to point out that this thing comes in at uh, 1.4 kilograms, the way that it's configured right now, and that's with the reversible harness and also with the airbag, um, carabiners, speed bar, as you see it here. So that's a good lightweight harness right there. Um, when I opened up this harness, I thought immediately, I've got to do a review on it because it has such incredible attention to detail. And it just started when I flipped it into uh, harness mode, I realized, wow, it's got reserve bridle routing all the way down to the shoulders. That's where you want to be hanging. Comes all the way down the side. It's going to be turnkey to just install this reserve, whether you want to put it on a front mount um, or you want to utilize the really amazing and cool feature of the Yeti Convertible 2, which is under the seat reserve container airbag combination. Now, Jen isn't the very first one to make this design, but they've done a great job with this one. And it looks like it is basically state of the art as far as I'm concerned. So you may have a look at this reserve handle here and you think to yourself, wow, that doesn't look like a normal reserve handle. And that's, that's exactly right because this isn't actually a reserve handle. This is a dummy that you put in place so that you can close up the container on those days and in those situations where you want to just use your front mount. Whether you're bringing your front mount over from your uh, comp harness where you use it as your second or your paramotor or um, whatever the case may be, some people are just going to put it on the front because they want a dashboard, whatever. When you want to close this section up, they included the tab so that you can close it up just right. And when you have a look at it, you know at a glance there's no reserve in there. By the time this reserve opens, uh, uses the classic uh, broken zipper technology that's pretty prevalent in the industry. But as you can see, by the time you go to pull it out, that container's opening, no friction, just like a broken zipper. Gin Gliders includes uh, its own reserve handle and deployment bag combination. So you'll take whatever reserve that it is that you use and uh, you'll install it in this bag uh, using an online tutorial or with our help. By the time that's installed there, then your reserve handle is going to reside right in here. And as you can see, it's a nice size. It's a nice shape. And there's no better feeling than having a lightweight kit that you can march to the top of the mountain, switch into flying mode, super easy. And when it's time to punch off, and I got to say my favorite thing is to get in the air while I'm still breathing heavy from the hike. To me, that's like the funnest thing. But... Uh, yeah, this happens so quickly. You don't have to uh, attach your front mount reserve. Piece of cake, off you go. Reserves right underneath your seat. Nice thing about having your reserve installed here, you're never tempted to take it off. I'm sure you've been there. You want to go for a quick flight. You don't think the reserve will be a thing. You go ahead and just take off the front mount reserve or you just don't put it on. This saves you from that. That reserve's in there and there's not a lot of reasons why you're going to be taking it out or off. Now, having said that, if you want to buy one of these because you want to go speed flying and you want to get on the chairlift or if you want to get in a car and not have this airbag underneath, this airbag's removable. And by the time it's removed, well then this, this Yeti 2 uh, convertible, it's a, a great speed flying harness with a lot of good storage. This uh, material here, it is said is uh, strong as metal. So um, it's uh, characterized by spectra um, as the material. And Gin Gladders uses this in a variety of harnesses, um, arguably the strongest fabric you can get. And when you see this orange stuff, you know you're getting the good stuff, and you don't have to worry about the structural integrity of this harness. Other Gin Gladders uh, Yeti Convertible 2 features, um, speed bar. Now, uh, this is a conveniently a two-step speed bar, like we all know and like. Uh, comes up through the edge of the harness board, and then up to uh, a ring, nice and light, but low on the friction up to your speed system. By the time you get up here, you don't want any extra weight, so you, you just use a lark's head, and you take this 
line Lark's headed and just slide it right over the top of your uh, spinnaker hook or Brummel hook, however you want to call it on your uh, riser. Boom, done. No extra weight. That's just smart. Uh, down here to uh, the, the ring, gin gliders were smart enough to include this slider, which we've been using for years. This does you the favor that when you're walking around, your speed bar won't be hanging down by your feet. You won't be kicking it. Rather, you can just slide this guy up like this. The uh, speed bar will stay nice and tidy right up against the edge of your harness. And by the time you want to push it, because you need it, you don't have to worry about those. They're just going to slide. That's smart. The Yeti Convertible 2 airbag um, has these titanium wire strands uh, that come all the way around here. And the idea is that uh, when you're standing on launch, this uh, airbag is going to take its shape and the airbag will be pre-populated with air before you even start, not relying on the inlet, not relying on your forward speed to uh, achieve its shape. So that's the uh, evolution in most modern harnesses, but gin gliders have this uh, titanium wire structure that goes in there and uh, pretty leading edge sort of equipment. As far as adjustment goes, exactly what you would expect, shoulder straps, quick and easy, in-flight adjustable, same thing with the lumbar, one quick pull to loosen, another to tighten, would be no problem even in flight. And then a detachable lumbar strap here across the chest. The main buckles on the Yeti convertible are uh, a new style that we haven't seen before. Um, these are uh, laughingly referred to as difficult buckles in the business, and rightly so. Uh, when you're out speed flying, in the ice and snow, or if you take this harness to a dune, the very last thing you would want is for this to come undone under any circumstances. Uh, it would change the geometry, the flying geometry of the harness, and uh, could affect your flight in negative ways. So uh, you want this to be a sure thing. Um, many people will just step into the harness, and that's not a bad way to go. But if you're the type of person that doesn't want to, then you can use this buckle, and uh, with just a little bit of tweaking, comes off pretty easy. That's easier than I've felt with a, a difficult buckle over the years. And then the same thing when you want to uh, put it back on. And now granted, uh, anyone who's used these a lot knows that as you use them, they get easier. So uh, brand new, that one's pretty easy to handle. And if you're not into uh, stepping through the harness to put it on, well then that's your ticket. So um, light and weight, hike and fly, mini wing pilots, um, people who are into Uber Light kit for traveling, this is your harness. Beginners, students, if you think you might have some disadvantage, you don't fly that much, you didn't get very good training, uh, you fly adventure flying, you're out on your own, uh, any number of those things would be great reasons not to get this harness. Go ahead and get yourself all the protection in the world. Get a harness that's made out of slightly heavier material. That's your best bet. If you enjoyed this video then take a moment to subscribe to our channel and know that we'll be uploading product reviews and entertaining videos as time goes on.